they were going to present our project concerning a proposed two-story commercial arcade building with parking space, which will be presented by Fernando Setungol and Rachel May Velez. So, sa lahat na binigay sa, sa amin para dun sa problem na nabanggit kanina, which is commercial building, two-story commercial building na arcade type, so, sa northern part ng lote is we have a 10 meters road, 10 meter wide road na katapat ng one story commercial area. Sa eastern part naman ng lote natin is merong 16 meter wide road. Then sa southern part is residential area and sa western part ay may 8 story condominium. Sa so, ang na, mga nakita nating pros and cons ng dote na naibigay is sa pro, sa pro, pwede nating mat, maturing na pro yung nasa east at north part na road. Kasi ang arcade building is ginagam, uh, madalas siyang puntahan ng mga tao as pwede siyang daanan lang or tambayan or pwede ring gamitin talaga dun sa pinaka-purpose ng building which is commercial building o para gumawa uh, or mag-consume ng mga products na binebenta dun sa loob ibebenta dun sa future building so ang um, pwede ah, pwede ring maturing na cons yung nakapalibot na road sa northern and eastern part kasi pwede ay magkukosto ng noise and air pollution which is not um hindi siya uh, hindi siya magandang hindi siya magandang factor para sa mga customers at sa mga users nung nung future building so sa residential area pwede rin siyang magkos ng noise pollution or at saka pwede ring ma-block yung sunlight. So, so, for this project, we have a design concept entitled Between the Lines. So, the design considerations na the design considerations para sa project na to is na consider namin is yung safety and security, hazard and natural calamities, accessibility, utilities, materials and resources, lead guideline, guidelines, traffic condition, natural lighting and ventilation, community and demography, community and demography, climate, terrain and zoning. So, yung design concept nat, na, namin, which is yung between the lines, is uh, uh, inspired siya ng barcode. So, by definition, barcode denotes to a method of representing data in a visual machine-readable form. Barcodes offer automatic product identification, extremely fast recognition, and implementation of data. So, ano yung connection ng barcode sa design concept nat namin. So for this project, we aim to create an identity for the structure and utilize the space provided. We aim to create a unique identity for the structure that is recognizable at first glance and makes a good impression from the outside up to their experience being inside of the building. The concept of barcode was implemented into the facade of the building. A double shell structure was utilized to cover the building with a barcode-like steel that coat the glass walls protecting the building. The barcode-like steels create shade to the uh, inside of the building so that the sun would not directly penetrate it indoors. The barcode design also gives dramatic shadows that could create ambience. Vertical lines are often associated with strength stability, balance, and elevation. So, in hypothesis, 
viewing vertical lines is a natural compared to viewing horizontal lines, which then again creates the identity of the building. The use of glass walls and windows are also used to showcase the resource product and services. The design wanted to create an identity for the project so that it can be something memorable to the users and could trigger, trigger emotions and memories as they glance at the building. So, para naman sa form, form concept, ito yung process ng pagbuo namin dun sa form ng building. So, step one, nag-create muna gamit galing dun sa building footprint na na come up namin. Then, step two is papunta dun sa ground floor which is made of concrete wall and glass curtain walls. Then, sa third step, the second floor was then added. So, yung second floor is naisip namin na i i um i embossed siya galing sa dun sa form nung ground floor so makita nyo na may parang sobra dun sa second floor which is my pur my purpose then the se step for the second shell of barcode like steel barcode like steel was added on the second floor so dito sa sa dito sa sa board sa concept board namin makita nyo yung inspiration nung design namin which is etong nasa gitna so yung parang magiging purpose ng barcode is para siyang barrier dun sa sa second floor then ano rin ang second pur second main purpose niya is for blocking the sunlight So, uh, yung color concept na naman for this project is consists of black, which black is the main color of the building. So, eye-catching siya and, and ito yung isa sa magbibigay ng um, emphasis dun sa barcode-like steels, na, which is yung pinaka-main na um, facade. And then, we have the white, which, which is yung secondary color na color no barcode like steel and then yung gray naman is to balance the white and black and para hindi maging monochromatic yung uh, building we added blue so uh, it gives it also gives life to the building para naman sa material concept na inincorporate namin dun sa design una is yung the use of glass in the design was not only to give aesthetics but to open the structure for more natural light. The main purpose of it is to give the resource a chance to showcase their products and services. It is weather it is weather resistant and very sustainable if taken care wisely. It also gives the modern look to the design. Next is steel, one of the main material that creates the aesthetics of the structure. It is not only reliable in robustness and ductility, but it also helps to lower the, the project cost. It is also sustainable and innovative and can be modified, which helps the project with implementing the design concept. The aesthetical con contribution of marble tiles brings the elegance of the design and the white color gives them simplicity, yet very elegant. Because of its white color, it could match different kinds of decorating, which gives the leasers a chance to design their own spaces as they like. Next is the use of concrete. It brings out and emphasizes the barcode-like steels and also gives an open canvas to the interior part of the structure, which could only be utilized by the leasers. It also gives durability and strength in the strength in the building. So for the design concept from Thomas J. Watson, design must reflect the practical and aesthetic in business. 
But above all, good design must primarily serve people. So for the material board, uh, uh, hinati namin siya for interior and exterior. So for the in, in exterior finishes, we have white paint on steel, and then we also have black matte on concrete and the light reflected tempered glass curtain wall. And for the interior finishes, we have the opposite of the uh, exterior, which is the white paint on concrete and also the light reflected tempered glass curtain wall. And then for the ceiling finishes, we have fiber cement board and metal spandrel. So for the metal spandrel, we use uh, both colors, white and gray, to give, uh, to give a different feel inside and outside the building. For the floor finishes, we use uh, tiles, which is the rock salt porcelain tiles and the ceramic lab tile. And for the roof finish, we use a built up roof, which consists of roofing gravel, four ply built up roof membrane, 0.5 inches fiber board, 1.5 inches polysyanurate, and a permeate vapor barrier, steel deck, and hot asphalt in between of them. So we use this. Uh, build up proofing kasi excellent siya sa water as a waterproofing material it is efficient and it have a ultraviolet protection fire resistant din siya which is good uh, especially kasi commercial uh, building siya and also low man maintenance siya and less costly than other systems so let's proceed with the architectural programming. So first is, nandito yung site analysis natin. So may kita natin yung sand path from the east to the west side. And then we also have the Amihan and the uh, Habagat. And may kita din natin na marami yung uh, maraming noise factors with uh, na nanggagaling from all sides ng lote, especially dun sa side which is fa facing the roads. And then we also have, have a uh, yung entrance and exit which is nasa north and sa uh, um, east side which is yung kung nasa lote is nasa right and nasa south side and also that uh, we have the vegetation next naman is yung site zoning so yung sa makita natin ito yung legends yung yellow representing public area the red represents semi-public area and the purple represents private area and the gray represents the parking area. So, dun sa rear side ng lote namin, ng lote na binigay, is dinesignate namin para sa parking area. So, medyo malaking part siya ng lote, pero maganda siya for, para mas maganda yung flow ng mga vehicles na kailangan gumamit ng parking spaces. Then, dun sa harap naman na sa harap sa front naman na part ng lot is dinesign kaya siya green ibig sabihin niya is designated siya para sa pedestrian flow at sa landscaping areas at saka may konting parking area rin din siya dun sa front so dun naman sa loob ng building area is dun sa yellow parts yung mga public area is included dyan yung mga leasing spaces mga leasing spaces then next is dun sa red area included dyan yung mga 
common toilet and baths then yung mga stairs then dun sa ano dun sa purple part ng building area is yung mga private area which is the generator set room the guard room utility the main utility room and security rooms next is yung schematic diagram for this the first floor ito yung naisip namin na position ng mga rooms or ng mga malalaki ng mga main rooms na na ilalagay doon sa building so sa first floor yan sa generator set room guard room then leasing space yan yung mga pwesto nila so ito naman yung sa second floor doon sa second floor nakita may pinakita dito na lumaki lumaki yung parang building building space para dun sa second floor kasi may purpose yan na mababangit mamaya <coughs> next ito yung site views then ito yung bubble diagram so, dito sa bubble diagram dun sa first floor we have the parking area which is directly connected dun sa entry kailangan kailangan may direct connection may direct um, may direct accessibility yung parking area sa entry para hindi mahirapan yung yung flow ng mga pedestrian kapag galing sila sa parking area so yung entry naman merong direct accessibility dun sa hallway yung hallway naman is binigyan namin ng um, direct accessibilities para sa halos para sa mga sa lahat ng leasing spaces dun sa kiosk then dun sa stairs sa common male and female toilet then sa guard room utility room and security room so binigyan namin ng malaking access mag, ma, madadaling access yung mga room na yan dun sa hallway para hindi na mahirapan yung mga gagamit ng mga room na yon so yung generator set room naman is binigyan namin siya ng magandang access din sa parking area so accessible siya sa, galing sa labas ng building then binigyan din namin siya ng accessibility dun sa guard room para accessible din siya galing dun sa loob ng building through the guard room next sa second floor naman kapag umakyat ng stairs directly accessible yung stairs yung mga stairs dun sa aisle so, yung aisle naman is directly accessible dun sa mga leasing spaces sa admin area. So, itong mga malilit na bilog na nakakabit dun sa mga malalaking bilog is mga utility rooms. So, nakadikit siya dyan. Ibig sabihin niya ay mga, ay may direct access siya dun sa bilog na nakadikit sa kanya tapos wala siyang arrow dun sa iba kasi ibig sabihin doon lang talaga siya may access para doon sa mga room na yon. Ito naman yung matrix diagram. The blue represents represents accessible then the brown ibig sabihin semi accessible and pink which means little to no access at all. Next yung pedestrian and vehicular flow. So <clears throat> Dun sa nabanggit nga kanina is the parking area is nasa, nasa rear part ng lot. So, niligyan namin ng access, ng mamaya yung ramp para madaling ma-access, madaling makapasok yung mga vehicles dun sa ramp at makapas, ma, madali nilang ma, ma, mapuntahan yung mga parking spaces. Then, meron din silang enough space para umikot para makalabas naman yung kanilang mga vehicles. Doon din sa front part ng lote, nandun naman may de, may access din yung mga vehicles para papunta para kapag gagamitin nila yung front parking areas. Yung yung blue fat lines and arrows yun yung nagre-represent ng vehicular flow. Then, yung red naman na thin lines and arrow, ito yung nagre-represent sa pedestrian flow. So, ibig, so ang ibig sabihin na itong, dito sa front part ng 
lote, merong merong pedestrian flow galing sa gitna, papunta dun sa gitna ng building, ibig sabihin may entry, may entrance dyan, tapos merong dito, dito yung daanan ng mga tao dun sa galing front, galing, kung galing sila dito sa side na to, sa eastern side ng lot. Then, next is dito rin sa northern part ng lot, lot and building, meron din silang access, papasok dun sa building. Sa lahat ng sides, meron silang access, papasok at papalabas ng building. Dito sa sa southern part or dito sa left side ng drawing, yung arrow is palabas lang kasi itong, itong way na to is more on dapat ang use niya lang is emergency exit kasi hindi siya magandang hindi maganda yung space niya so more on emergency exit lang siya architectural drawing so una na the architectural drawing is yung site development plan so dito may kita natin yung aerial view ng building natin which is may kita natin yung guard house sa upper right side ng lote. And then yung parking lot sa upper side and the lower side ng uh, lote natin. And yung bu- building itself. May kita din natin yung access ng uh, uh, vehicles dito sa upper right part and then dun sa, lo- sa south part ng uh, ating lot ate. And then may kita natin yung mga vegetation. So kung uh, uh, kung mapapansin niyo, konti lang yung vegetation na nilagay namin. It is because para hindi ma-hinder ng mga uh, um matataas na puno yung uh, yung facade ng building para magkaroon ng view access yung mga nasa loob and mga nasa labas ng uh, ng structure kung ano yung nasa paligid nila. Uh, so, we use na ma- yung mga low-rise na uh, plants lang yung nilagay namin. So, we minimize the use of trees. So, yun. May kita din natin na uh, yung ginamit na material for eh, for the roof is eh, yung build up proof which was discussed kanina next so next we have the uh, ground floor plan so, so dito may kita na natin yung mas detailed view ng lote na hindi natatakpan ng upper part ng structure so dito may kita natin sa taas yung mga parking slots which consists of y- yung car slots yung PW car slots motor uh motorcycle slots and yung, yung delivery truck slots so may kita natin na malaki yung access uh vehicle access nung uh, uh nung sa parking lots sa uh, rear side ng building so magkakaroon ng magandang flow yung mga vehicle para hindi sila uh, magbanggaan. And also, uh, we have, have a guard house doon sa upper right side. So, uh, may magmamonitor ng organization, organizational ng parking para hindi lahat ng unauthorized is makakapasok doon sa uh, uh, lote natin or sa structure. And then, uh, Uh, yun, meron din tayong parking slot sa harap para ma-utilize yung paggamit ng space. So, easy access din siya doon kasi uh, yung dalawang side ng uh, uh, lote natin is uh, accessible sa road. Next. So, mas close-up shot nung uh, 
nung floor plan natin. So, dito, uh, let's discuss yung yung circulation of users. So, may kita natin dito, meron tayong four pathways. And sa four pathways na yun, meron tayong uh, um, doors or entrances. So, may kita natin sa left side, yung entrance na to or yung door na to is uh, yung uh, primary purpose niya is to give access sa staff members or sa uh, workers ng building and uh, as an emergency exit. Kasi makikita natin na yung paglabas doon or yung access doon sa left side door na yun is papunta siya sa parking slot. So, um, from parking slot, easy accessible siya ng workers na hindi na nila kailangan pumunta dun uh, um, sa three main doors or sa three main entrances. So, kapag emergency exit then easy na makakalabas agad yung mga uh, mga tao and mas safe sila doon sa uh, sa parking slot kaysa doon sa pupunta sila sa labas doon sa kalye or mas matatrap sila doon sa sa loob ng building and then yung door naman natin na nasa upper side is um, primary purpose niya is to access from the parking slot sa rear uh, rear part ng, ng lote. So, um, para hindi naiikot yung mga yung mga users ng parking slot and especially yung mga PWD and yung mga um, people with necessities like yung mga buntis and yung mga bata. Hindi na nila kailangan umikot dun sa harap or yung sa right side nung uh, building para lang makapasok. So, um, yun, mas madali yung entrance nila. And yung uh, right side and sa south side naman is yung pinaka main entrances para dun sa mga passerbys and dun sa mga um, mga tao dun sa uh, front parking. So, dito, may kita nyo na um, madali siya ma-access ng mga passerby. Kahit uh, so ped pedestrian friendly siya. And then, sa entrances natin, may kita nyo na may ramp shop para maka-access yung mga uh, users ng wheelchair. Yung mga PWDs natin. And yung mga trolleys. Which is um, um, mainly ginagamit para makapag-serve ng uh, products and services. And then, pagkapasok natin, may kita na, di ba, mayroon tayong four pathways. And sa four pathways na yon, magkakaroon ka ng chance para makita lahat ng leasing space or at most, apat na leasing space at the same time or sa isang daanan, which is very... Uh, very maganda or very um, ma, um, maganda para dun sa uh, kita nung leasing uh, resource natin. So, magkakaroon sila ng chance to attract customers. So, sa entrance natin sa lower side, may kita natin na meron tayong re indoor resting area. So, um, considering yung mga users natin which is maybe meron tayong elders, meron tayong PWD, children, and pregnant women, pwede silang magkar uh, magkaroon sila ng uh, resting area sa loob ng, uh, ng structure natin na hindi nila kailangan lumabas. Kasi kaya siya naging uh, mamit kami ng indoor resting area instead of an outdoor resting area is to of uh, avoid them, yung mga users na malanghap yung uh, uh, air pollution na galing dun sa roads na nakapaligod or na, nasa right and lower side ng building. And also um, sa noise pollution na din. And maganda din siya 
strate- strategically para dun sa mga resource kasi meron sila another chance to attract customers. So, we also have a uh, uh, female and male restroom which is also accessible sa PWDs and they have a common lavatory area. And then, we have six leasing spaces in total and meron tayong dalawang kiosk leasing space sa tabi ng um, ng stairs natin. And every leasing spaces have their own utility rooms. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ng lahat ng leasing spaces is nasa right side. And, and meron tayong mga rooms na nasa left side. So, yung mga na, mga nasa left side na pinakadulo is yung mga staff only area. So, ito yung mga area na uh, strictly na accessible for uh, for our workers or yung mga staff no building. So, we have the generator room or the genset room na accessible siya from outside. And then, we also have the staff room which they have their own toilet and bath. And then, meron silang locker and resting area. And then, meron tayong utility room. Itong uti- utility room na to is for the whole building, not just the leasing spaces. And then, Meron tayong security room for uh for security purposes na nagmo-monitor ng uh CCTV and safety and security ng mga users. Next. So yeah, dito naman tayo sa second floor floor plan ng arcade building natin. So yun nga, kapag akyat ng mga, di, dahil second level na to is, so, uh, pag akyat ng mga customers or ng mga users is, may ki, dito sa plan na to, may kita natin na napakaraming mga, pasi, napakaraming pwedeng daanan ng mga, cost, ng mga users ng building. Kasi, maganda, maganda to kasi, ma lelesen yung traffic ng mga pedestrian. So, yung kapag akit nila is pwede nilang pwede silang pumun- lumiko agad papunta dit sa mga sa leasing space na katabi ng stairs or pwede silang dumiretso papalabas papunta naman sa ibang may kita natin tong mga aisle na to is ano, magkaganda yung access nila. At saka meron silang mga bridges sa git sa malilit na bridges sa gitna para mapadali yung mga access nila sa magkabilang side para hindi na sila kailangan umikot pa sa buong hindi na nila kailangan lakarin yung buong length ng kalahati ng building. So, sa dito naman sa outer part, may kita natin na meron ding daanan or parang maliit na hallway sa 1.8 meters wide na daanan dito sa labas. So, yung purpose nito is pwede pwede siyang kung kahit anong gab- gustong gawin ng mga users. Pero mostly para siya s'yempre sa pag-navigate dun sa second floor. Pero pwede rin siyang maging tambayan dahil <coughs> covered to ng steel bars. So, hindi so makokontrol na makokontrol yung sunlight na pumapasok dito. <clears throat> Dahil marami ngayon na pumupunta sa mga gantong klaseng commercial buildings para tumambay lang or para makipagkitaan. So, pwede nilang magawa yun dito kasi nasa second floor to, ibig sabihin maganda yung view nila sa labas ng building at saka hindi rin kahit tumambay sila dyan sa labas hindi rin sila magiging malaking obstruction para dun sa mga taong dumadaan din. So, <clears throat> dun sa katulad nung sa first floor may kita natin to mga leasing spaces na may sar- kanya-kanyang mga utility rooms. Then dito sa malapit sa stairs is merong maliit may, mas maliit na 
common toilet para hindi na kailangan bumaba ng mga customers or ng mga users ng second floor para lang gumamit ng CR. So, dito naman sa upper left part ng second floor is maybe tayo sa zoom version. So, dito sa upper left part ng second floor is yung administration area. So, dito sa administration area yung con- conference room, yung mga offices ng mga managers at saka mga stations ng mga staff yung mga yung mga workers dun sa building na yon na nagmamanage ng system ng building so <clears throat> uh, dito, dito naman sa mga yung mga may cross dito ibig sabihin yan is open below so yung ma, may, nakapalibot dun sa mga open below na yun is may mga railings tayo para pwedeng ma-enjoy nung mga nasa baba yung yung view pataas at pwede rin maki, makita nung mga nasa second floor yung view pababa so madali yung hanapan dito sa building na to yung sa material sa finishes din is press lang din naman sa first floor which is um yung finish floor 1 yung Nasa leasing spaces is rock salt maximum, which is 300 by 150 5.6 centimeters. Smooth finish siya and from the brand of maximum Fiandre Extra Light. Then, yung sa mga nasa aisle naman or hallway is the Azure 150 by 150 centimeters na ceramic slabs from the brand of Dax. Uh, let's proceed then sa RCP or sa reflected ceiling plan ng ground floor plan natin. So, as you can see dito, um, meron tayong, um, dah- di ba hindi, hindi pantay yung walls or embossed yung second floor natin. So, yung se- second floor na yun, yung uh, excess niya is naging eaves siya nung first uh, first floor natin or yung ground floor natin. So, nagagyan natin siya ng uh, eaves light so that it could be well lit kahit gabi. So, commercial building siya. So, we want na um, makaka-attract talaga siya ng uh, attention. And kahit na gabi, makaka-attract siya ng attention kasi well lit siya na uh, building. Building. And then, we, uh, for the interior naman, we have, yung sa resting area na, natin, is, yun yung pinaka-aesthetic part ng ground floor natin. Kasi, um, yun yung, um, we want na magkaroon ng fe- uh, feeling of comfort and uh, relaxing yung mga nasa resting area. So, that they can enjoy yung ex- experience nila doon sa loob and labas ng building. And then, so, dito, gamamit tayo ng uh, spandrel panel. Like, doon sa eaves natin, spandrel panel din yon. But, they have this uh, different colors. And then, doon sa uh, comfort room natin, for the female and male and the common lavatory area, we use uh, fiber cement board for the ceiling finish and the uh, architectural light for the lights. And then, dun naman sa, um, sa guardhouse natin, we also use the same material, such, yung, uh, such as yung sa eaves. We also use the uh, spandrel panel with the same uh, eaves light and fiber cement board for the interior and also architectural light. Next naman is yung reflected ceiling plan ng second floor. So, ka- kalas katulad lang naman nung sa first floor. Ito yung mga, yung mga daanan ng mga users is yung maraming mga ilaw na LED lights na nakasunod. So, LED round light panels 
na nakasunod dun sa mga da- sa daanan ng mga users. So, ayan. Karamihan is usual, yung yung distance nila sa isa't isa is 2 meters. So, dito naman sa gitna is sa kung sa kanina dun sa floor plan, open below dun yung yung mga nasa gitna ng floor plan ng second floor. So, dun sa sa ceiling plan ng second floor is naglagay kami ng mga custom custom sh- custom made na ring ring shaped na light na recessed mounted na LED lights dun sa git gitna. So, yung purpose nun is first of all is aesthetic kasi kita siya sa lahat ng floor. Kita siya sa lahat ng floor tapos dahil open below yung sa open below yung mga parts na natututukan nat- nitong malal- malalaking ilaw na to is ano yung purpose din niya is mailawan yung hallway nung first floor. So ayan. Nakapalibot din yung mga LED na na surface mounted na lights dun sa sa outer na daan ng mga tao para hin, para guide guide din at saka aesthetic aesthetic purposes din para kapag madilim na Next is yung roof plan. So yung roof natin kanina yung napaliwanag na yung built up roof and then yung slope natin is papunta sa rear side nung lote eh, na may 2 degrees na slope. Tapos dun sa dulo dun sa dulo na part ng roof sa rear side is merong gutter system na diretso lang sa dulo na sasalo dun sa mga <clears throat> rainwater then dadali nila dun sa mga roof drain. Yeah, yun yun yung roof plan. So, uh, we have now the front elevation and rear ele- elevation. Uh, so front elevation next. So, this is the close up shot ng uh, front elevation natin. So, yung unang mapapansin nyo dito is yung um, bar la, uh, bar, barcode-like uh, steel. And yung bar, barcode-like steel na to is hindi siya parallel, uh, perfectly parallel to each other. So, meron siyang slope na 2% from the right side to the left side. So, um, this is because para magkaroon ng uh, different feel or different aesthetics kasi naka-face siya dun sa road natin. So, um, para magkaroon siya ng aesthetically uh, pleasing na vibe. So, we use na um, guys, imbis na diretso siya, ginawa namin siyang um, magkaroon siya ng and then, uh, mapapansin din natin dito is um, yung bla- matte, matte black paint concrete na natin is binibigyan niya din ng emphasis yung barcode like steel natin. And then, yung glass walls or glass curtain walls natin is nagbibigay siya ng chance dun sa, um, sa mga lasers natin sa ground floor so that ma-showcase nila yung products and services nila. So, very uh, simple lang siya, but it is very aesthetically pleasing. And, uh, meron din siyang purpose, kaya naging ganyan siya. Next, please. So, next naman, we have the rear elevation. So, kung mapapansin nyo naman dito, uh, yung while, uh, barcode-like steel niya is pantay sila from top to bottom. So, wala siyang slope kasi um, facing siya sa sa um, eight, eight story condominium. So, and then 
there's also a factor na yung sun, kung mapapansin natin kanina sa uh, site analysis, is doon sa left side and sa top side ng building natin, tatama yung sunset. Which is, hindi gaano um, healthy or hindi siya um, hindi siya katulad nung uh, morning sun na maganda siya sa balat. So, uh, it could be dangerous. Kaya, uh, mas malaki yung spaces ng barcode-like steel so that hindi ma-penetrate nung um, nung sunlight yung indoors. And then yun, also, the uh, curtain, uh, uh, the glass curtain walls was also used para makita nung mga nasa parking lots kung ano yung nasa loob. Next. So, next naman, we have the right side elevation. So, mapapansin niyo ulit dito is merong slope yung uh, merong slope ulit yung barcode-like steel natin. And so, kasi, again, um, facing siya sa sa road. So, it is aesthetically pleasing and it attracts attention. So, um, mas makikita natin di ito yung uh, utilization ng ng ating uh, glass curtain wall. So, mas marami yung glass curtain wall dito kasi um, sa front natin, meron tayong parking uh, area din. So, may chance na matatakpan doon kahit na meron din tayo doon glass curtain walls. So, dito, um, this is passerby only space kasi kasi walang parking slots dito. So, yung mga passerbys, uh, directly nila makikita yung ating, uh, yung mga leasers, yung products ng leasers natin. And then, makikita din natin dito yung guardhouse, which is, uh, yun nga, nagpaprotect siya dun sa safety and security ng parking area natin so that walang um, unnecessary uh violators or uh vehicles na pupasok doon unauthorized vehicles next please so now we have the left side elevation so dito naman etong side na to is yung pinaka um pinaka may malapit na area or yung pinaka malapit sa um sa property line natin na merong katabing building. So, dito, mapapansin natin na sa first floor or sa ground floor, wala siyang um, window. This is uh, uh, because, number one, sa part na to, nakita natin kanina sa floor plan, na sa left side is yung mga staff-only access uh, rooms or areas. So, uh, um, mas private sila kasi um, sila yung nag-organize ng management and organization ng uh, flow ng uh, building natin or yung working uh, spaces sa building. So, yung door, uh, kung makikita natin, meron tayong maliit na door dyan, which is yung access door to the generator uh, generator set room, which is also uh, only accessible by the staff. So, um, dito naman sa right side, kaya siya walang, uh, wala siyang window is because nandyan yung security area natin. So, um, to provide na yung privacy ng mga nasa CCTV na nasa loob nung building natin or nasa structure is uh, tinanggal natin yung windows. So, uh, merong privacy and confidentiality yung um, CCTV area natin or yung security area natin. Hmm. 
Next naman is yung section drawings ng project. So, yung una yung is, is yung cross section. So, ayan yung nakasulat yung mga height ng mga roof apex, second floor, finished ceiling line, floor line, then yung ground floor, ceiling line, floor line, tapos yung natural ground line. So, yung makikita natin is yung finishes ng interior is halos pares lang naman dun sa exterior. So, yung pinagkaiba lang is yung wall finish ng ng matte black ng exterior is ginawang aqua epoxy on concrete na white B2900 na matte finish dun sa, sa interior. So, sa, sa, sa exterior is black. Black yung team nung pasad pero dun sa mga bars pero dun sa interior is white siya so dun din sa interior makita rin natin na sa fasad niya is yung tempered glass then yung sa tito dun makita natin yung bars so yung isa bukod sa ma, ma <coughs> bukod sa yung purpose na obvious na nakita natin na mga ka-block ng sunlight, yung mga bars na nilagay namin dun sa exterior facade. Yung isa pa niyang purpose is para din dun sa labas na, para din dun sa surroundings ng building. So, y- yung purpose ng steel bars na to is para ma- dahil nga puro, halas puro glass facade yung ginamit namin at saka marami rin namang mga building na gumagamit ng glass facade. So, itong purpose ng bars na to na nilagay namin is para maiwasan at, at mabu- mabawasan or maalis na yung glare na nadudulot nung, nung glass facades na mga modern, modern building. So, yung mangyayari is maiwasan yung glare or yung sinag ng araw na mare-reflect dun sa kalsada kasi minsan ay madalas ma- ang ma- makukos ng mga ganong buildings na nagre-reflect yung sunlight is iinit yung paligid nung iinit yung city or yung town na meron meron ganong building so yun, nilagyan, yung purpose nga nung bars na yon is para maiwasan yon yung glare at sa yung pag-iinit nung city na pinaglalagyan nung building na yon Next, ito naman yung longitudinal section is may kita natin dito yung mga leasing spaces papunta dun sa administration room. So, dun sa, may, sa administration room, may kita nyo na walang nilagay na mga windows kasi accessible, kung natandaan yung floor plan kanina is accessible ng mga users yung gilid hanggang dito sa likod ng administration room. So, kapag nilagyan natin ng windows dyan is mawawalan sila ng privacy at saka may mga private matters na kailangan si, mga staff members na makakalam at hindi dapat ma, malaman ng mga users. So, privacy rin yan at saka hindi rin maganda yung position nila sa araw. So, artificial ventilation sila dyan. Ay. So, ayun, yung cross-section ay yung section drawings ng project. So, ito naman yung exterior uh, perspective natin from the front uh, side. So, may kita natin dito yung um, slope. Slope nung bar, bar code like steels natin. And then yung uh, um, yung pag-utilize natin ng uh, curtain, glass curtain walls. Next naman is yung perspectives ng rear side naman ng building at saka ng interior perspective. So, it, dito sa interior perspective is itong perspective nito is sa second floor siya dun sa bandang dulo. So, may kita natin yung railings na naka block dun sa op- sa open na pababa nung 
second floor at saka nung etong yung railings nung sa hallway sa lab, labas na part at saka itong mga bars. So, ayan po glass glass walls para sa natural ventilation na din. Das ito naman yung sa rear rear perspective, rear view nung building.